Yeah, it's about to be from Mats Pavels and today we have all Big Boy Tournament in the BB10. Limited format and creations because it's basically just all the not heavy base. Kerbex and the Crown and Fox and Capricorn are here. Those are the heaviest ones. Everything else should be pretty, you know, balanced weight. Couple non 40 versions of 40 base, like Scythe Beat and Blitz, because I didn't want to use Dark Helma. So, there we go. I got a bit of extra time today. It's Friday, so. But yeah, late start. I'll get to it in a second. I'll be doing best two out of three as well. I'll wait for a stamina match. Talk about stuff. Here's something outside. Don't know what it is, though. Might check the stream chat if it's easier on my phone. And there it is. I'm gonna switch this. I'll switch put this on live chat. Pisces wins uh, round one. Okay, there we go. Sam and Maze will be going first every time. Besides that, it will alternate. If it's if there's an attack, he'll go in last every time. Because otherwise, it'll alternate. I'll do best to do best two out of threes this time. This tournament's way more fun to me. I find this not heavy thing is way more fun. Okay, next we got a stamina match. And Pisces is gonna win. So Pisces will move on. You can see the bracket behind me. So that's nice. Pisces is right there. Where's my finger? Oh, no, 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 wait. What's getting caught up on my... Okay. So you guys can see... Okay, Pisces is... Pisces is behind my life. Next match is Thermal Pisces, and... Show me Gimbal. My arms could use a nice two days rest. Okay, so what took the stream too long to start? I was transferring stuff from my computer. Old hard drive to my new computer. I needed a folder, and then I found another folder. And I went. That's what took me so long. Specifically... Uh, I, I downloaded JBlaze videos before we took them down, because I really like watching them. Uh, and I wanted to see for BOB which which uh, uh, striker or Unicorno he used. And literally that is the exact reason. Okay, let me see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. I think... I think Pisces is a good shot here, if he can win. The Spey has not much stamina, and the attack base are kind of wild. Except for Pegasus. Storm Pegasus is not wild. And Pisces is kind of just barely Pisces. Let's see, is, or is he just shaky? He might be just shaky. Let's see. He's a little loose. Kimball. Kimball's a bit loose too, but uh, let's be honest, because the bays are always loose. Okay, here we go. Um, but yeah, and then I kind of watch some videos, a bit of inspiration. Uh, I do that. So, basically, yeah, uh, that's what happened. But when we get some cool thoughts I had, I want to, I think, I think it'd be cool to collab with people, you know? I'm totally like the old washed up YouTuber at this point. Uh, having neglected it for on and off for the last two years, three years, but... Uh, I would like to collab with people. I think that'd be fun. The question is how to do that, and I don't know how to do that. With the exception of podcasts. I know you do a podcast. I think uh, it was Kevin and Mike did one, which was good. It was a good podcast. But, I want to do something else. How to do that, I have no idea. To be honest with you, I have absolutely no idea. But I think it'd be really cool. And fun. That was, that was weak. That, that was weak. You, you can see Pegasus this isn't spinning. That was incredibly weak. Let's try that again. Arms, you got one more. They do this. That also felt weak. I'm not going to redo this one. How much Pegasus knocked... Killer come down. 
That was insane. Okay, that one kind of more Pegasus than the Killer Cat. Okay. This morning was the first time it dropped into the 50s. It dropped a sharp drop from the 70s to the 50s for the low. But it was nice. Got to walk. 50 degree weather this morning. Yes, I would like Pegasus to win. And yes, I'm very upset that he just knocked him into the wall kind of multiple times in the knockout. That was very exciting, but I didn't want that. <laughs> Come on, Pegasus! Oh, he brought it to a tie. He brought it to a tie. He's still got one more shot. Wait, cut that off a bit. I'm gonna redo that. I angled him and he got kind of just stuck at the top. I'll do that for the race, don't worry. Next we got Grand Capricorn and Ultimate Drago. Aggressiveness might hurt Capricorn here, as he can get kind of hit really hard. Oh. Other thing, I want to try to get more excitement. Not by his exciting battle, just the narration. That's one thing Jay Voider always did fantastically before he switched to post narration, which I still stand by my opinion, sucked putting that out there. I stand by my claim from however many years ago it was. It was so boring. I'm not afraid to be blunt here. Say my opinion. I, I found it really boring. It was good quality, but I'd rather just have music in the battle if that was the case, because I found live or his post narration. Or anybody's post narration, being honest. It's not his. I found it incredibly boring. Uh, it was kind of analytical, I guess, but boring. I liked the older J Boy over here, because he was always super excited about it. And me. Oh, Dragon's gonna move on. I hope they storm Pegasus. That'll be fun. Okay. Oh, let's stick these bays in the stadium for a while. Uh, I'm gonna dump the stadium. There we go. Get some dirt out of it. Okay, next we got Hyper Orso and Galaxy Pegasus. Another Pegasus. I was definitely one. Galaxy Pegasus is born. This one. I love Galaxy Pegasus. He's so cool looking. That was quite easy. Or it's a bit too much of a fight. And now we got Proto Nemesis and Samurai Ether. Actually, no. Nope, 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 nope. I told myself I'm not going to do that. I don't know how to get a selling shoe at the bay. He's getting launched in the dog as hard as I can. And he's gonna go up over the ridge and knock himself into the middle, or he's gonna tornado his ball. With as much stamina as possible. No failed sliding shoots. Go Eford. I used to not like Eford, I thought it was too yellow. But now I actually do. It's probably my favorite or second favorite series you game, to be honest. He's cool. I don't even want a regular one. I mean, maybe for the parts, but I always kept just stuck with this one. Okay, rip. That was, that, that was, that was really bad. Okay, we're going to do that. They can spin themselves out if it's because of the knockout. If they're just spinning fast and they spin themselves out or they get a hit, spin like five times and go out, that's not on um, that's not, uh, that's a soft knockout. I'm not redo that. Soft knockouts are lame. And of course, this is going to win. We'll move on to face the Foxy. Next we have Flame Sagittario and Ray Striker. I like Sagittarius, but I, I'm a big fan of Striker. Probably my top 10. Or just outside the top 10. So that is who I am going for. Uh, Striker's tall. I'm not sure if he can actually knock William Sagittarius off balance. But if he can, he can win. That's all you have to do to beat a Stamina Bay Metal. An old Metal. Metal Fusion. 
And you just knock them off balance. When you get under them, you knock them off balance, and if they can't recover, sometimes the way they'll hit, they'll recover again. But if they don't, then they lose. So. And striker is going to go down. I just sort of just end up landing on top of striker there. Go on to youtube.com or really the YouTube app. He is getting under him this time. I need to change my thumbnail. Shoot. Striker one. Okay, we're changing the thumbnail. Okay. Sorry guys. Um. Okay. Change thumbnail. Uh, what are we gonna make it? it? Should be a picture of a Beyblade. I know exactly what I'm gonna use. I just have to get to it, and it's a little bit of an annoying place. But I know exactly where it is. That folder, that folder, that folder, that folder, that folder, that folder, that folder. And there it is. Right there. Open. Bam. Thumbnail should be changed. I want to scroll myself back down. Okay. So, final battle. Such Terran Striker. I'd love a stadium out. I'm sure I'm right there. I don't see it happening. The funny thing is, the stamina base actually don't have terrible defense. Wide defense is worst defense, because it slides over so easily. And they don't have a recoil. That's the main thing, they don't have a recoil. The rock base have horrible defense, because the recoil is so high. Looks like Sagittarius is going to take this, though. Okay. It's hard to get super excited with the base. It's down now. like this. Okay. Sagittarius is your winner. Move on to face either Dark Bull or Dark Libra as I adjust this, which I should do while the battle's going on. Two dark rays with SD. So the first quarter of the draft, because there's 64 babes, half that to 32, half that to 16. Um, this is the 15th and 16th bay. So the eight winners will be Pisces, Pisces, Pegasus, Storm, Storm Pegasus, Ultimal Drago, Galaxy Pegasus, Proronosis, Sideshare, and one of these two. One of those eight bays will be in the semifinals. I wonder who it'll be. Not afraid to spoil things since you guys can technically see like all the matches here for the most part, except a couple behind my name. And bull is gonna win. Oh, I haven't done this in so long. My arms are killing me to launch. Ah, oh, that hurts. It looks kind of like a summer day. It feels more like a fall day or closer to a fall day. Green on the trees, but it's windy. And cool in the morning. Oh, the boxes. Let's put some boxes back here. We got some Burst, Valkyrie, and Wyvern. Then we got Tins, Blaziken, and Lunala with cards on them. And then Torchwick and Ruby from the figures. Because I got figures. I was trying to think of something to put in the backdrop. Let me check to see any. And from the chat, it's easier to check the chat from my phone. Oh, that was, that was a tie. Libra might have gotten in there at the end, just barely, but that was really hard to tell. So, following the tie. Come on, 
next match, the next couple matches are so much fun too. Alright, you guys can stay, right? We got some fantastic matches. How happy if we can't get to that? I don't know. I hope it streams in HD. I assume it streams in HD. It streams 360, that's kind of lame, but... Or just... I don't know what quality my weapon is. Although it looks better than I thought it would, so... We have that. And Libra's going down, so it looks like Bolden's gonna win, which I'm happy about. I want Bolden win. Technically my first Triple H, too. Dirt Bull. Uh, I would love to see him go all the way. I don't think it's gonna happen, but it'd be cool. Now we got a killer matchup here. Earth Virgo versus Rock Orso. These are two bays that could be in the like, top eight, maybe even top four. They're that good, in my opinion. But they get they drew each other round one. So like this, this could have been the final one, you know? Maybe not quite, but you get the point. These are two bays that could have gone very, very far if they didn't. If they got, you know, a little bit of luck with the matchups. And by luck, I just mean somebody who, like, doesn't destroy them. You know, there's always that bay that just checks somebody, like Eagle. You know, just checks everybody. Um, but, you know, with a little bit of luck, these two bays could be all right. And Orso is going to be under Virgo. Orso really knocked Virgo off balance. That doesn't happen much. But Virgo is just wobbling. He's going to go down. Orso's going to win this. I think. I mean, it looks like it. Yes, Orso is going to win that. Wow. If Orso can do that on a jump, he's going to win. That was a big hit. That doesn't happen much of these. Live streaming goals, because I, I didn't even think of something else to say. Uh, I want to do live BOBs and custom BOB tournaments. I think that'd be fun. That's like the goal. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get there. But, hey. Who knows? I think that'd be fun, though. I also recorded a BOB before I did this. That was fun. Ooh. 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 Uh, 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 oh, 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 Orso's gonna win. Orso has this in the bag now. Virgo's straight. Wow, Virgo got knocked out round one. That was a sh I did not see that coming. Now we got Blitz with Arsa. Not 40 Blitz with Arsa. Which admittedly is an incredibly weird bay. So it's like a combination of the 2D and the 40. Kind of expected that, to be honest. El Drago does have a, uh, you know, I could probably, I could probably do El Drago. These bays are, Buster Patient bays are very easy to sliding shoot because they go the, uh, because I can just launch them straight with the string launcher. I can't do that with the, uh, with the, the drip launcher. I can't do that with the string launcher. El Drago can't spin still if he knocks Blitz up way high like that. Good news is Blitz does have RSF and is probably the most aerodynamic. I don't think he's gonna get those one. Nope. Ooh. And the blitz is knocked out. So El Drago and Orso, that's another good one, because those bays also could be in the top eight. I've got a few bays that I, I would say that are top eight potential. I'll tell you what they are. Not saying that they'll get there, because you never know. But bays that I think could easily like could reach the top eight or so. Orso, El Drago, Virgo, Bixus, this one, this Bixus, Fireboys, Eagle, possibly Kronos, Curvex, Leon. Any any Meteo or Lightning I'll drive with. Meteo could also do it. Rock Pegasus, Burn Gasher in the, the you know, conversation. And then um, last but not least, Spiral Capricorn. Or Spiral Capricorn because he's heavier. Kind of like Kerbex. Like Kerbex or Crown could easily get there. Simply because of that. 
I think I can't see the chat from here. I might need to. Maybe that's what I call him. This looks cool in this mode, but it's so useless. I think it's a bit closer in the corner there. there yeah. There we go. There we go. I think I'm too much. Fixus wins. You knew my friend did this one time, and Fixus actually got really far, which is why I mentioned Fixus specifically. Drakpa and Gil, who I actually originally put in the bracket by accident. And I was like, oh wait, Gil's not there. I think I got everybody else there. Everybody important place. I'm using the dark blue wolf. And Zarafa gets the knockout on Gil. And he gets another knockout on Gil. Well, Gil's down. Now we have poisons. Poison serpent versus poison Zarafa. I think Serpent wins this because he's got SP. I think MB is a bit less balanced. And SD, I think, also will have stamina. But I have no idea. It's poison. I really don't know much about MB, if I'm being honest. <laughs> One of the things I just don't exactly know about. And, yeah, okay, so never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. He does go off balance a bit, but he. It's not an issue. Serpent's so cool though. Can he move on? Who doesn't like Serpent? Serpent's such a cool day. Oh, wait, I need to pull that towards me, don't I? I just realized it wasn't aligned properly. <laughs> Come on, Serpent. Serpent just totally destroyed the rock and the rock can't move on. <laughs> and look how cool Serpent is. Isn't he a cool bay? That totally didn't do anything, guys. Don't worry. If anything, it hurts Serpent. You don't want to win. And he doesn't win. Dang it. Okay. You guys are moving back a little bit this row. Get close to Gazoo right now. I'm definitely spreading you guys out. Just for no reason. Why. No reason to keep you guys, like, cluttered. Okay. Harusius. And Colonel Bixus. Who seems to put up a very good match against everybody. At least in the, uh... All days that include 4D and stuff. Hi, one viewer. Nobody's watching us. Nobody's actually been in the chat of a single one of these, so I wonder who. And if you're wondering, I did exit out of my phone. That was really just to check the chat. And Harusius wins. Harusius the attack bay. I feel like Harusius is technically defense. Ooh. Very, very high recoil. Unfortunately, Evolting is going to have to go through a little bit to get hybrid, another a good recoiling match. Not exactly next to anybody who can do it, who uh, has a recoil. He might face Zarafa if he wins. It's fireplace. Burn fireplace. Burn my own. See, this is how the uh, Metal Fusion era stay on a base lose. Is they get knocked off balance, and they scrape. 
it's just very, very, very hard. Yeah, they don't have the greatest defense, but for whatever, their tips just don't really go over the tornado rate particularly easily. You don't see them getting tossed too often. Like Rock Bays and Grusius. Sometimes they can, but as you can see, Stormland hasn't gotten a lot of hits, but Fireblaze always knocks himself back on balance. And Fireblaze knocked Leon out in the last match of the round. Make sure I got this. Hyper Aquario and Screw Capricorn. Capricorn's gonna catch up, it looks like. I think. Yeah, he's getting a little closer, and now he's not. Now they're trying to disarm each other. Hyper actually got hits off there. Not sure how much it helped him. We'll see when they, uh, they're about to stop spinning. And... Honestly, it's, it's a dead tie right now. You can't really tell who's spinning slowly. Maybe slide into Capricorn? Yeah, slide into Capricorn. Definitely looking nice to fall. Looks like Capricorn's catching up, but then Hyper started dipping in a little bit, and now he's going to dip in. the wall. You can see right here by my foot. Yeah, he landed right on Blitz. And B, as I was drinking my lemonade, because I was thirsty, I thought to myself, mm-hmm. Yep. Exactly what I expected to happen when Capricorn started catching up. So, first first part of the racket, Pisces, Pisces, Storm Pegasus, Ultimate Draco. Galaxy and Pro Nemesis, Flames, or Sagittarian Bull, Orso and El Drago, Lightning El Drago, Bixus and Zarafa, Poison Zarafa and Herusius, and Fireblaze and Spiral Capricorn. Now we have Rock Leon and Rock Dasher. This should be a knockout. I would expect two knockouts here. Rock has very high recoil. These bays are like the same weight. Although, because, you know, Saiyans are slanted like this. They might not be hitting at the exact same height if one's in the middle and one's coming from above. But one still stands. I think we this. Should, oh, maybe not. I thought this would be double knockouts. Whether I oh, this would be knockouts. Every match, two matches or three matches. We only just killed Gashford though, which is actually kind of interesting because they're virtually the same day. Gasher just has down force 145. Well, Leon has regular 145. <coughs> oh. mm. No, he can get a good hit off. He's too low. He didn't hit with the main part. He hit where Rock started sliding, sliding upward because he was below Leon. got this. Leon fans. Favorite bay. Is gonna win. And... Leon is gonna win. So I move on to face either Hades Curve X or Evil Geminis. What a hard match for Geminis. Can't catch a break. Geminis is actually a pretty good middle fusion break. So that commercial is real. Interesting. Geminus is a pretty good bay if you ask me. I think I've seen him stand up to Virgo. He can stand up to a lot of bays. He's just getting horrible draws in round one of every tournament. But as you can see here, 
he's doing really well. Maybe it's hard for you guys to tell, you know, webcam and stuff. Um, the days are both kind of bright. Bright looking from the you know, camera. And you can't tell these two though. That's good. Jemios is putting up a fight, although he's starting to lose balance here. See, if Jemios can do this to Curb X, right? Jemios should be able to beat a lot of A's. A lot of he always gets matches like her Vex for he doesn't exactly win. A flat spike is starting to spin more like a flat tip. Part of that is rare. I like Jimmy this a lot. I like the colors on it. I like the red of the space bolt. I like the red and blue on the space bolt. I think the uh, the yellowish very yellowish color looks really cool good on the bay. I think evils are cool looking heal. And I love the red of its spin trap and tip. Fortunately, Jimmy else is not going to be winning this one. Looks like. If only I switch Kurvex mode. Now Kurvex and Kurvex is too back harder. And Jimmy is going to go down. Rip. Next, we have a matchup of the ages right here. We have Rock Pegasus. Came with Sagittarius, I believe, in the double pack. And Torch Ares. Only the best bay from uh, the 4D. Maybe even better, better than any 4D bay. Torch Ares is just the best of the best. I watched that weekly. He already got a knockout around Pegasus and is up 1-0. Oh, Pegasus comes back. Ah, oh, Swister. Swister got lost in first place. Okay. Torch Aries will get launched in first this time. Right there. Get ready for another knockout, guys. Torch Aries is just going to blow Pegasus back. He's going to go flying out of the stadium. He might even hit the wall. He goes flying out so hard. Because Torch Aries is just going to toss him like it's nothing. Like he's a piece of trash. Getting thrown into the garbage. Like a crunched up water bottle going into the recycling bin. I don't see anything in the chat. Which I was going to check a second ago. I forgot. Pegasus is gonna pull the upset and win. I'm telling you guys right now, that is a fluke win by Pegasus. Um, Torch Ares doesn't really go down ever. Okay, let's check. Is that trash? Okay, there we go. And Aegis, Swan Mouse, where are you? I can't see you. There, here, there we go. There it is. There it goes. Okay. Next, we have Burn Cancer. With a light face bolt and a new tipped Samurai Pegasus. That sometimes is deciding for whatever reason doesn't want to be attacked by it. Oh, wow. Cancer just like, pow, gasher. This one is Japanese, so I guess technically it's cancer. I'm just snap it back there, though. the win. Okay. This calls for... By the way, Pegasus has one of the coolest sticker rings ever. This calls for a mo change. This calls for left rubber flat. Nice job. Come on. I was about to relaunch that because this is a weak launch, but Pegasus is going to turn out anyway. Okay. Come on, then. Okay, now we got Storm Aquario. Who, by the way, for this match, is going to be in attack mode. Because Aquario is facing immediately. Don't hit my computer, please. 
You don't. Well, okay. You have to get knocked pretty hard to my computer. Still a little weird. And El Drago is going to win that round. I think Mito is probably going to win this just because Spin Steel is the thing. Stretch after the round's over. He is gonna barely take that. Now we have Destroyer and Rex. I'm going left rotation with Destroyer. I might switch that to right. Destroy is pretty solid in left rotation, though. Still says one watching. Hi, one person watching. Hello again if you're the same person watching. And Destroyer is probably going to spin steel this one away from Rex. It's the whole point watching left rotation when it's spin stealing this, I think. If Destroyer can, why not? And Destroyer is going to get the win. Okay. Kind of an odd launch, not gonna lie. I didn't exactly get a steady launch. Watching here the wind through my window, which is open. What time are you doing? 2 30. We might not get through all this. <laughs> uh, destroyer. He's doing really bad, but now he's completely caught up and he might be ahead. He is ahead. And Destroyer is gonna inch it out and face Meteo. I'll be doing both of them in left rotation, probably. Now we have Flame Libra and Bandit Gimbal. Gimbal looks like a, a Mario shell. Oh, and Gimbal got knocked out by Libra. Libra just got under him and had him, made him pop, like, hop a little bit. Okay, now we got a random booster battle of this killer cam. I don't know what's on the bottom of it, okay. And uh, Shinobi Grip. I, I don't know what this is. It's the one that's on is it Pirate? Pirates Killer Cam, maybe? It might be Pirates. If I put my hand there, I'm gonna, it's going to be in my hand. I already know. And Killerkin's gonna win again. We're going to face a Libra. And then we'll have Hades Crown and Rock Scorpio. Rock Scorpio is an attack bay. These are the last eight matches of the uh, the round. amount of stamina to be honest. It doesn't seem like a part that has like any or much stamina. More than a attack tip but less than a defense or stamina tip. A plastic defense or stamina tip. I remember one obviously. But it actually has a decent amount of stamina. Although Scorpio still won that. And no Scorpio's not loose. It's just the rock roll. Okay, 
if Scorpion went too high up there, he would have just gotten knocked. I'm glad the 2D Blitz is in the fun mode, the high reef world mode, that's better. I mean, while I would love it to be in the uh, other mode, because I think the other mode looks pretty neat. Not that about Blitz's shape, but it is a bit of an odd shape, you know? I think the other one looks kind of cool how they're all scalped out. But it's no one here is useful or fun. I think Scorpio is going to win here again. And move on. Oh, oh no, he didn't. Did not at all. He just got knocked over. I feel like that's Scorpio's chance to win. Knock him into a back maybe or something. And knock hit himself. That, that, you know, that hit right there could be the end of this for Scorpio. It's a close match and you can't let yourself get hit. And he did. But Crown is losing a lot of stamina. Despite, I think he's going back and forth from attackish mode, you know? Going a bit wobbly or getting knocked higher towards the, the edge. Scorpio is going to pull it out, so Scorpio will move on. He'll face either Screw Fox or Thermal Assert. That was funny. I want to I redo that. That was kind of funny. Assert is going to get the knockout. This is attack based or reliant on knockouts. And they can't really have stamina, so if I just do the uh, attack bane first, and it's hard for me to get slang shoot launch, they're at a very big disadvantage. And it's anybody that has another giant thing. Okay, next is Chronos and Reviser. Chaotic patterns of the Zero G variants. Almost knocked Chronos out. But didn't. I think they both went out. It's not what Reviser needed. He needed. He needed to knock out Chronos, not both of them. not going to happen now, so. Chronos is going to win. We have Beat Lynx and Dark Dasher. Dasher is still on 145. Oh, okay. I'm actually going to keep it that way. Beat is high recoil. Dark doesn't. I don't know what that means. I guess it means maybe Dark can't knock him out as easy. Maybe it doesn't matter. Aggressive, but Lynx is avoiding. 
hit in the wrong place, Lynx gets knocked out and loses. Maybe he does out stamina out there with AD 145 WD of the Gasher and Dark. I love the red on Gasher though, and I really like the Aqua color too. Nothing against the Takara Town anymore. But I like this one more. More than the, I think, slightly pinker. And Lynx is going to win. Okay, now we got what, to be honest, should be a blowout. Eagle and Cetus. Unless Cetus gets a knockout with aggressive RS. I don't think that's going to happen, though. I, I'm not going to say Eagle has an easy way. He actually has, like, multiple attack days. One being Ultimate Destroyer, who is left, if you guys have not noticed. So, not an easy path, exactly easy path for Eagle to make it to the finals. So, this is the easiest path for any day. I don't know, there's a good variety here, you know? Media would destroy her against Leon. Any Bay with high recoil. Facing anything, you know, could be bad, but when it's a double high recoil match, that could very easily, you know, make one bay that has a good shot and you could take them out of it. Hyper did not win, so Hyper need Aquarius to. Because A, I like Aquarius more, B, it's around the same color, and C, I can't take Ultimate Destroyer's tip because he still has to fight. I'm just gonna back to this blue wolf. You know, Sora is actually a pretty good player if you look at the standings for who's gonna be on the Japan team. He got like sixth. And even though he was that good of a blader, he basically got forgotten about after this action after that. It's got like no spin time. More wasted characters in Beyblade. A lot of damage there. Okay. I was going to tell what was the position I could launch. And they're going to both go up. Cyber's done on the smash. Cyber does with the speed. If you put a fast tip on it, like a, a verbal tip. He's faster, he can outspeed a lot of things because he's so light. That's not the case because this doesn't help him. That's mainly just like other attack base. He can outspeed other attack base and knock them out. Just with sheer speed alone. Even though Cyber is not that good and kind of light. Mm. Well, he's going to win. Okay, next we have Poison Pegasus. Very loose. Okay. And the second best Bay Behind Torch, Storm Capricorn, who I really want to see win because of the coin. Not amazing. And he is not going to win. Still got two more rounds, so you never know. Capricorn didn't just bounce out of the stadium instantly. He rolled away from me. Purposely putting him in quick mode, too. And Boys of Pegasus is going to win. So, last but not least, we have Rock Aries, a personal favorite of mine, versus Ultimate Destroyer. Aries could have a tough time. Aries made it to the top six, though, of one of the other ones. Yeah, all day.
The only saving grace for Ares is the fact that he's fighting a faucet and not like WB or a bay that has river on him. But if El Drago shows you, letting El Drago shows you anything, and the bay can still heal, the frustration. As Destroyer is going to win. Both bays go up pretty hard reports, but. Although I think part of that is a little mitigated by liquidation, if I'm being honest. As although they're not both high recoil bays, the store of racks have that stay in house. Given that there's no real big spoiler or not spoiler, upset or anything here, I could see it going the other way. Oh, uh, Virgo getting knocked out round one was like the upset. Did not expect that. I did think Orsa would fight, I didn't think Orsa would win. I didn't think Virgo would be one in round one either. Virgo had a good shot too. Virgo has stamina a lot. Or is it also a good shot? Disappointed? I wanted Ares, Serpent, Gemios, and Virgo to win, and they all lost. And yes, I think Ares is going to lose here. And he did. So. Stand up. Oh, oh jeez. Oh boy, oh boy, this this is painful and it's 2.43. Okay, I've got about 15 minutes to do those matches, and now we've got like half as many to watch. So. Okay. Oh man. It hurts the knees. Oh. You know, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you guys knew this. I guess it was kind of obvious. Uh, I do do this on the floor. I don't have a table. I could move to the kitchen table, but it's blanket down, you know? And that might work, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't want to move everything upstairs. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Okay, so we have Evil Pisces and Thermal Pisces, Storm Pegasus and Ultimate Drago, Galaxy Pegasus and Proto Nemesis, Flame Sun Share Dark Wolf, Rock Orcs and Lightning of Drago, Flame Vixus and Rock Zarapa, Poison Zarapa and Ultra Hercius, and then Fire Boy, Fire Blaze and Screw Cap. And on the top, we got Rock Leon and Katie's Curbex, Rock Pegasus and Burn Gasher. I think we got that one before. I'm really glad to see it again. Meteor Drago and Gabby Destroyer. Oh, there's one over there. Uh, Flame Leaver and whatever that killer can be is. Rock Scorpio and Thermal Lacerda. Scythe, Chronos, Snod 4D, and Beat Link, Snod 4D. Earth Eagle and Dark Wolf and Poison Magnus and Ultimate Destroyer. Okay. Um only one Zero G Bay one and it's the Bay. Up, oh, oh, I gotta take this. Uh oh. I Out of soap in the bathroom, the um, like bathing soap, alcohol soap. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now this story is left. Okay, oh, cold now we're back. Sorry for the delay. Oh, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. That hurts.
Thermal Pisces and Evil Pisces. Which one do you have? Oh, I probably got like 30 nuts. I'll probably do the rest of it. Stamina match, attack match, attack match, stamina match, attack match, stamina match, stamina match, attack match, stamina match, stamina match, attack match, stamina match, attack match, stamina match, stamina match, attack match. A good balance. Some of these, I'm saying attack because they have a singular attack bay, and some of these are high recoil, like Roosters and Zirafa, which is technically a stamina match still. They both have stamina tips, or non attack tips. Okay, good. Mike's still working. That's what I wanted. Thermal Pisces. All of the stamina bases are in. Fire Blaze, Pisces, Sagittarius, Libra, Eagle. All but Virgo. You can s s move this into quadrants here. The first four battles are eight bays. Then the next eight, then the next eight, and then the last eight. Those are the semi finalists. The winner of those eight. Pisces is. Thermal Pisces. Probably gonna move on here. But there are two attack bays. Still alive. One doesn't face. One of them is Galaxy, and one of them is Storm. Or possibly El Drago as well. The next one will be tough because Orso, El Drago, Vixus, and Zarafa aren't just in the same like quadrant, like eight bays, you know? They're in this like the winners of those two will face each other. And then they'll face Fireblaze, Capricorn, Zarafa, or Perseus. So that could be tough too. Same then the other one, you got Libra and Killer Pen, but after that you got two Luxation Bays, two low stamina bays, and then Kerbex on the out. I think Evil has a shot if you can get by Kronos and Eldra or Destroyer. Ultimate Eldra Destroyer. So Thermal Pisces is going to move on to the top 16. Launching Eldrago in first because he's a tough rotation. And they both went out. Okay, let's do that again. right out. I'll try to get a better launch since this is not a string launcher. Good luck rotation. Sorry, I'm not counting that. <laughs> I know Pegasus does one out as I was looking at trying to put the launcher back together. Uh, no, that is not counting. That was, that was Elf Dragger scraping instantly and just going insane. He spun in the right direction, and Pegasus was there in the right time for El Drago. And Pegasus is going to win. Even if they hit each other, yeah, El Drago's not been stealing away from that one. So Storm Pegasus will face Storm Pisces. On galaxy. Oh, he got knocked out of the flower pattern. Lame. That's gonna be really hard for him to win. Is it Star Booster? Is it a special move? I'll take it. Proto's gonna win, unfortunately. Be honest. Who watched him? Wants Proto Nemesis to win. He's so lame and weird. I don't really like him. I don't think he looks that good. What is that? It's 
sound like a mix of a siren and a scream. <laughs> yeah, I'm certain this is a Zoom win. Ugh. And we have Wayne Sagittario. And Dark Bull. I think Sagittarius. I like Bull as an I like Bull. I like Sagittarius and I like him to win. Sagittarius is the uh, better bay in this ma particular matchup. Don't know who exactly would be the best bay, so to speak. But in this matchup, Sagittarius is definitely the better one. Doesn't get knocked off balance easily by Bull, and then you get knocked out by Bull. A lot of second here, but what does it matter? I'm excited about the next four matchups. It's my favorite quadrant. My favorite quarter. Orso of Drago, Pixis, Rafa, Rafa, Lucius, and then Capricorn and Fireblaze. That's an interesting one. I am not gonna have until like 320. Or 330 really. They're like just over half an hour. I'm probably not gonna finish this in time. I'll probably go right until somebody gets home. Oh, um, full wins making this match go extra round. Full you better win. If you're gonna make this match go another Another round, you better win. Do not want to watch stamina matches. Ugh. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. So it looks pretty menacing. A split sticker. Just not actually pretty good condition. For him, oh, huge in bay. This is my art. I'll purposely try to keep my stickers in good condition. And pulls out. So now I got Orso and El Drago. Okay. I can't be leaning towards one direction. I'll watch. Orso is getting knocked out. Already down 2 0, a 1 0. We need to get to win 2 in a row. Slice shoot, come on. Oh, Drago. Yep, and he does get knocked out. So, El Drago is going to be moving on. Flying Bixus and Rocks are Rocks. Okay, we're doing that. Launched him right into Bixus. Honestly, his drop is just hurting himself by doing that. Oh, he got that knockout. Okay. Funny if you got a salt sticking out. Defense day. The drop I can't just circle him, he has to be aggressive or he's not going to Right now he's just kind of circling him. Now he pushes him out of the center. Be a tough one for El Drago too. If El Drago has to face uh, Bixus, personally don't want. I mean, I don't mind Bixus, but I like Zarafa more, and I like the matchup of Zarafa and El Drago more with Bixus. If 
Ignis. Oh, and the knockout. That is exactly what I wanted. Ignis is eliminated. Okay, everybody has to have more stamina than a poison day. It's still alternating, but when choosing who to go first, since that person, if it goes into a three match, or three matches, will be launched in the first more, two out of three times, you gotta go with the one with more stamina. Which I'm pretty sure is Rufus. Poison's got all of them. And another knockout. There we go, now we're moving a bit quicker here. Rufus is still in. Impressive. The two metal tip phase. Well, okay, there's another metal tip phase. My metal ball bar. Well, I consider the two the same metal phase. Oh, whoa. He sent him over the wall. This is a rematch for that one match where uh, Capricorn got sent flying by that one bay. Who was it? Somebody sent him flying. I forgot who it was, though. That'll be a fun one. Perseus and Striker, or Perseus and uh, Capricorn. Stamina match, but this is the same match. So it's Thermal Pisces and Storm Pegasus, and Sagittarius and Pregnancies. Then we've got El Drago and Roxy Rocker. Why do you have El Drago and Roxy Rocker? And we then we got knocked out. Okay, show your blader spirit, uh, Leo Kems. You're down in an 0, 0, 0 one hole, but you need two wins. So basically, uh, nope. <laughs> Correct. Just reject you. Now we have Burn Gasher and Rock Pegasus. You could see a scave on here because it's Burn versus a Rock Pegasus. They're about the same height. I believe that's 90 or 85. I don't know if it's 90 or 85. I forget. Or it could be 100. I don't think if this is down 100 bit. I think it's 85 or 90. I want to say it's 90. I think 85 is on Cyber and 100 is on Libra. Burn definitely has more stamina than this one. Being Burn with a Gasher and a Feather Face. Rock Pegasus looks to be winning right now. You can see Gasher's starting to not spin quite as fast. Pegasus still has quite a bit of spin. You know when a base is spinning at full speed and it's Stamina Bay and it's like completely smooth when you watch it spin? Gasher's not even close to smooth. <laughs> you can tell it's something spinning really fast now and not just whoosh, on a smooth motion. He's gonna go down. That's interesting. I didn't think Rock Pegasus would win this. Also, it's an older WD. Our Pegasus is an older WD, not, not Burn. Burn's got one of my newest ones. If not my newest. I always want to watch what the girl Mizaki's name over again. It's just so funny. <laughs> and long, long, long stamina match. Please be the only one left. Right. About 30 minutes. We're lucky. Okay, this time off Pegasus looks like he's going down quicker. Oh, damn it. This I should have just made this time the best of one. <laughs> I should have gotten a slightly earlier start. Done computer stuff a little later. Once I found what striker I needed, I should have saved the rest for later. <laughs> Oop. Jeez. Oh, Do this again. Not please. And 
say, oh, let me get El Drago and Neo, but I don't really need to do anything. The launch is already set. Asher's winning right now, gang. Okay. They're close. They're not even. But I think Asher's more stamina as a day. So I'd say he can win as of right now. He totally hit closer to the underside of rock, which gives him a bit of an edge there. It looks like they go down with the hands of Burn the Gasher. Yes, just barely. So Gasher will go on to face Quebec. Here is Destroyer and. really is making up for the uh, last battle. Okay, oh, oh, here we go. First stamina match at least, I expect this one to be kind of short. We bring Philly Ken. I expect we really kind of destroy him. Still says one beer. If I want a beer again. Yeah, Leaf is totally knocking on balances really quickly. Negro's gonna win. I will. Uh, yeah, this one is launching first. Sagittarius and Pisces is in. If Weaver runs Heathen, Virgo and Fireblaze are out. Eagle still has to go, but I think Eagle is going to be full. If I'm being honest. Can't wait for Christmas lights. That's fun. Yeah, Weaver is going to win. Not surprising. Scorpio and Lysurda. Bays aren't the most fun to grab either. Ooh, almost knocked off. if he can avoid staying out. I think Scorpio is going to get this one. Chronos and Lynx, Eagle and Wolf, and Pegasus and Destroyer. We poison Pegasus and Ultimate Destroyer. And Scorpio is going to win. Damn, 
Oh, oh, oh. Mike's got a knockout. Oh, Colonel Scott knocked out. Come on, hit each other. Don't give each other look out. Mike's needs is stamina out. He doesn't win if he doesn't get stamina out. There's no way out. he outdoes E. Fights in EDS. So unless he gets a late knockout, he's going to lose. Eagle should beat Wolf handily. Wolf doesn't have enough stamina and does not have the smash tag to knock out Earth. Not close to enough. Should be a relatively easy win here. Terrorist face wolf's just a pair of eyes. And that's like the same color as Libra too, the bottom of it. And the face wolf. Evil one with that. Wolf gets launched in first, so maybe this will be just a little bit quicker. I'd knock a gray launcher as well. I like Flash Sagittarius face wolf more. I think it looks better. Except for the flash. It looks cool. Flash that chair is a cool looking thing. I like it. Long Wyvern looks pretty cool. I like Wyvern, Curbius, and Valkyrie, I think. And Excalibur. Xeno Excalibur, I think. That's the right one. Yeah. That looks cool than the other one. Pegasus way off balance. Be funny if he knocks Pegasus off, off balance, then start hitting the EDS, or the ED145, not EDS, and then Prince Men steal and loss. I just think that'd be funny. Not gonna happen, but it'd be funny. <laughs> Who would have expected that, right? To fail to spin still pull the Okay, yeah, he's gonna win one. Oh, the boat's gonna go out. Okay. That oh, was really bad. I'm just gonna redo that. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Twelve. I could do another round. Pisces and Pegasus. Ooh, he threw Pisces out. Ooh, he's just throwing Pisces around. So Pisces then got into the center and lost his firepower. Now he's gonna lose. 
very, very, very unlucky. He's just killing Pisces right there. Pisces looks like a fish out of water. Why did I do the Levitation Launcher? I didn't need to get that ready. Oh, just barely. Uh, I kind of thought he wasn't going to do it. Pisces is eliminated. Flame Such Territory is more sound than I guess. So Pegasus is in the top eight. I'll face one of these two, which I think is winnable. I think you can definitely win against the other side of the bracket. El Drago, Zarafa, Crucius, and Capricorn. Those were all winnable. Because those are three big. There's a one's a Luxification Bay that, you know, he beat Attack Bay versus, or Rare Retainer Attack versus. The other three are High Recoil. And he has RF2, so he's faster than Capricorn. Prognosis is going to go down here. And then up top we got Kerbex and Gasher. That's going to be a sand match. Uh, Destroyer and Libra, which should be kind of interesting, I guess. I don't know how it's going to go, really. Um, and Scorpio Kronos, that should be Kronos easily. Scorpio could get a knockout, but he hasn't really got one yet. So I'm not sure how much I trust him. And an evil destroyer, which could go either way because it's a spin stealer. Evil could go down in the top uh, 16. Which is a little bit earlier than you'd think for evil. Okay, so Sagittarius is going to move on to face Pegasus. Zarafa got the knockout. I'm going to go with Zarafa first. I don't think the Sluggitation Launcher is launching fast enough. And El Drago is going to roll away. I'm not going to go for him right now. Volker Herusius and Screw Capricorn. It should be Screw Capricorn. Oh. Actually, you know, if he knocks Herusius into a wall, he could very well go up to the stadium by himself every time. Actually, not easy. If we just spins like that, it's gonna be easy. Okay. And Capricorn's gonna move on to face his Rafa. Now I get the stamina matches. Or inside the bracket. Kind of open for a stadium out. So Pegasus, Sagittarius, Zarafa, and Capricorn have claimed their spots in the top eight. That went by in four minutes. And with two attack bays, it'll be quick for them that that's half the bracket as well. We've got about 15 minutes or so though, so this is gonna get close. Why do you have to have to face each other? Second slow stamina match for Burn can dash in a row. Is this gonna go down? It is. Stay out, come on, Kerbex. I do like Kerbex more. He also won a match already. Destroyer is also cool looking. They both of them are. Both destroyers are pretty cool looking. And you can make some kind of neat combos with combining the black 
gravity with the other ones. X is in the top eight. With the destroyer. Or the Libra up here. WD and being able to knock him off balance. That could be a combination of wins if we destroy. This is going to be a combination of wins if we destroy. Using the destroyer launcher, who else is a really cool face? What are the other one's purple with the green destroyer and blue outline. This one is purple with the gray destroyer. Oh, those yellow eyes, those red eyes. And the stickers with the black outline. Pretty cool looking. Very, very cool thing. And it's fun. How far we go depends on the stamina matches. Okay. I'll be stopping after the next battle. I don't think I'm gonna come. Even though it's cold out there. These stamina matches are just taking a little bit too long. Doesn't exactly help that Scorpio got a knockout and then isn't gonna get another knockout here. I mean, this has to go into a third match. Scorpio hit him at the right time. Oh, now he's back on balance. So I actually really, really close. Chronos should get it here with EDS. Or not! Scorpio won! Wow! Top 8 for Scorpio. That's pretty impressive. I don't expect Stegen out here, but I do expect a, uh, some spin stealing. He could get the knockout. WD is very knockoutable. Given how normal battles go, I'm surprised I was able to get through these in about. It's gonna be roughly 10 to 12 minutes. By the end of this one. 
Eagle might have too much stamina for El Drago to be still off of. I don't know. Not El Drago. Destroyer. He still might. But Eagle might be a little too much. Actually, this has cleaned up Eagle's path to the final a lot. The bays that really can knock out Eagle by out stamina are out. Ooh, Eagle got him at the end. Knockout would be very good for Destroyer. Not gonna get one, it looks like. Maybe I should have wiped off this tip. Maybe it's just gonna hurt. But yeah, Eagle just. He can probably outstand a Sagittario. Pegasus and Capricorn can be issues. He should beat the Zerathal when he won. Uh, he sort of beat some issues. I think he beats Corvette when he won. I think he beats Scorpio when he won. So there's a lot of things here that Eagle can beat. Eagle is still very beatable though. The Destroyer can spin steal off from Corvex and still a threat. Rock Rays are always a threat. Sagittarius is a stammer bay. And attack bays are threats. Corvex is Corvex, but in the game. I don't, have time. I don't have enough time, so we're going to do this before whatever the next Beyblade stream is. We're going to finish that up. I'm going to stretch out. I'm in it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. The mic's way up there and totally away from me, but uh, that's okay. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, I'm wearing the little festivity shirt because it's nice and cool. So I can. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will probably be Pokemon on Monday. So yeah, see you guys later.